Welcome to No BSTS, episode eight, where we take a look at key of and how it works within generics. Really excited about this one. This is of my favorite features of TypeScript generics. This is one of my favorite features within that. So let's get right into it. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is create a file called generics with key of, not TS. And in this one, we're gonna start by implementing a pluck. So let's create a function called pluck. And what pluck does is it takes a list of items, start off again with unknown, and it grabs whatever the, a given key is from all of those items. So it's expecting that you get an array of objects and they'll all have the same keys, but you want one key in particular and you want that returned as an array. So you need a key, which is gonna be a string, and then it's going to return a, again, that key, just like that. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is change this to be some sort of generic, so we'll call that a data type. And we need this to be a key type. So we're gonna say that is a generic type. And here's the really cool part. We're gonna say the key type extends the key of, a key of data type. So key type has to be one of the keys in data type. And then the output here is going to be data type dereferenced by key type and an array of that. This will all make sense in a second, believe me. Okay, so let's return out of here a map. So we're just gonna take the items and then map and then take the item and take its key. Just like that. So let's go make ourselves some dogs. List of dogs. And in there, there's each one's gonna have a name. So Mimi, these are my dogs. Age is uh, 12. And I think little guy's age is 13. Okay, so let's see, console.log. And now we are going to pluck from dogs and this is when it really, really gets cool. So when I hit quotation marks, now it hints me that my two options are age and name. So let's do age first. And then let's do it again, just because it's so cool. See, name like that. Now, why is it doing that? Well, it knows. So dogs is an array. That array of dogs is defined as an array of these structures. So it's an object that has name and age. And then, so that becomes data type, because it's data type as an array. And then this key has to extend one of the keys of that data type. So in this case, it has to be either age or name. So this is really just super, super cool. All right, let's do MPX TS node, generics with key of. Now we can see that when we pluck out age, we get 12 and 13, and we pluck out name, we get Mimi and little guy. Super cool stuff. I, I love, love, love this feature. Let me show you another way that this is just super cool. So let's do another thing. Let's create an event map. So I'm gonna have a base event type and that event might have a time on it. And then it might have a user on it. So this is maybe some events you'd get from an analytics system or something like that. And now we're gonna have our event map. So make another if interface called event map. And let's just say that we have a, an add to cart event. And so that's gonna be a base event plus, let's see, we're gonna have a quantity that you're gonna add to your cart and then also a product ID, which is a string. And then you might have a checkout event, which in this might just be the base event. So we haven't seen this before. This In this one, you're basically taking this type and then adding it to this type. So this add to cart event is the sum of base event plus this. And in this case, checkout is just the base event. Okay, so now let's make our send event function. And it's gonna take a name, which is gonna be Let's just start off with a string and it's gonna take some data, which is gonna be that 
event type, some, some sort of event data. So that's going to be, again, probably an unknown. It's going to just return void all on its own. OK, well, so how are we going to find name? So name needs to really be one of these things. It needs to be a key on here, add to cart or checkout. So let's go over here and we'll say that name is going to extend the key of event map. So it has to be a key within event map. So let's drop that in there. Cool. And then what is data going to be? Well, data is going to be defined as event map with whatever that name is. OK, and then we'll, I don't know, we'll just console log this out. Name and data. There you go. OK, what's really important here is the signature on this. So this is just so cool. So I'm going to do send event here. OK, so check this out again. I do open double quotes. And then I get add to cart and checkout. Let's do add to cart. And then as I go here and I hit command space, it's telling me that, OK, I want time and user. Those are off of base event over here. But I also want product and quantity because those are off right here, which is specific to the add to cart event. So let's do you know, product is foo, user is baz, quantity is one. What else remains? Time is, is, I don't know, 10. OK, great. And then let's try send event on checkout. And again, on this one, I'm only hinted by time and user because that's the way that we defined it over here. Checkout is just the base event. So let's do time as 20, user is Bob. OK, let's give that a try. And let's bring out the terminal again. Go up, and now let's run it again, and look at that. Now we've got the correct data coming out of our send event. That's awesome. But really, the important part here is I can't mess up, right? Send event is checked. It has to be an event that I've listed in my event map. And the data going into that event has to match the API that I'm putting here in here. This is just phenomenal particularly when it comes to analytics events or telemetry events on the web, things like that. Uh, just a, a great way to keep all of that type safe. Just, just awesome. All right, coming up next, we're going to take a look at utility types. In the meantime, of course, feel free to like and share this video with your friends. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And of course, ring that bell if you want to be notified the next time one of these videos comes out.